ってねみたいな。カマをな。Hi seekers。Welcome to Madness Life. Wash those. Put new ones out. If you're new here, please subscribe. Hit that thumbs up button. If you'd like to become a member, links in the description. I need a bubba. Bubba. I need a clean bubba. Clean bubba. Hi, guys. Welcome to Madness Life. Listen, we gotta go slap some, you know, makeup on. Hello, everybody. Today. Oh. Hi. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna use my Brita water. I'm just gonna use the Brita water. You getting no? You got notified? Yes. See my fridge? No alcohol, ever. <laughs> Ever. Diet Sodi. But we're gonna have water. Brita water. Put a new filter in. I always keep a bunch of the filters on my fridge. What's wrong about what? Wrong. Oh, am I wrong? You know what? We're going up to the Diva room. We're gonna plug in. Honest to God, I need your guys' opinion. Cause I ain't even trying to fight with anyone. I really ain't. Listen. I just not. But, you know, sometimes when you write in a comment section, right, people, it can be taken in many ways because there's no, there's no voice to it. There's no, like, whatever mood people are in, they're going to read what they want to read, right? Or they're going to, I don't even know. I mean, I'll, listen, I'll tell you what happened. And then you tell me if I'm right or if I'm wrong. Okay. Yeah, because we know. Text, forget it. Or chat, text. And sometimes it's best to just talk about it. I'm gonna I'm gonna move all this stuff. Hello, Jamie Lynn. Hello, chat. My wrenches are in the house. Hold on. <laughs> Look at this. Listen, we're we're on day four of the hair. This is the end of the mermaid. It's the end. It's the end. It's the end. You've taken things wrong, everybody has. That's why I'm like, listen, I ain't even trying to fight. But I'm gonna get you, I'm gonna, listen, I'm gonna tell you from step one, while we slap on a little bit of war paint, step one to the finale. Hello, Dove Kitty. Hello, gal. Sherry, Bebop. Hair's still looking fabulous, really. Look at these roots. <gasps> Lord, child. We've gotta work on the roots. That's gonna be in my game plan before we take our trip to Max. Max is incredible. Oh my God. I can't even talk about it. I am so gonna show you. When the hubby gets home, I'm gonna do a whole new video. Cause last video, I may or may not have had my fingers on and off the, the mic. <laughs> it was bad, old people problems. Now, if I would have had it in the tripod, I wouldn't have touched over there, over over here, where it goes. That's what happened. Or I may or may not have had my AirPod in. <laughs> you pulled a good one this morning, Jody. Locked yourself out of your own house. Had to pound on my door like the cops for my kids to wake up. <laughs> <coughs> That's a good one. That's a good one. Okay. If I don't plug in my iPhone cord, then we're gonna have bigger problems. So let's just do that. Click it, shh. Oh, there we go. We're in the diva closet, people you know. 
It's where I do my best thinking. Anyway, so, you know, Ch Chantal's like, if we, if we don't want to cover another mukbang, then we're just going to have a conversation with each other. You know what I'm saying? I need my eye drops. All right, get people to do, listen, get people to do thumbs up and shit. I'll be right back. And my allergy meds. Ugh. Brutal. Okay, I'm back. I had to do my allergy meds. I'm fresh out the shower, but not washing the hair yet, okay? And I gotta get some eye drops. Ah, oh, refreshing. Allergies are at an all-time high. Even Max is covered in pollen, so I'm gonna struggle. <laughs> I'm gonna struggle probably for another couple weeks, and then it'll be... Awesome, because then I'll be past spring allergies, I hope. But pollen, listen, <laughs> the, po the pollen is just covering the cars. I have to wash my, get my car washed today. I got to change the oil. I have a lot to do. So anyway, okay, I'll tell you what occurred. We're going to have, well, listen, we're going to have a small crowd today because we we didn't tag Foodie Beauty, which is fine. <laughs> you know what I mean? And okay, so. All right, I gotta see, hold on. I gotta see what you guys are even saying. Because my chat means the world to my channel. So it ain't all about me and story time. It's about y'all, right? These days when we're not covering, you know, a reaction and we're just gonna talk about some YouTube bullshit, right? Then I have to, you know, see what you guys want. Uh, you know, what you have to say. I can't find your rose clay bar in your Etsy store. Right, because it's getting hot and, and, and things can melt when they're handmade. So I tend to, uh, I don't know how to put it. Like I've had people go, I don't care. I'm going to order it. I, I, I understand that. But then sometimes people go, um, it, it was melting. It was melting when I got it. And, and then that makes me feel bad. So it's a whole thing. So I generally take my face cream and my rose clay out of the store for the whole summer. Now, I am doing new new beaded bracelets, right? I'm going to do some memory, um, the memory bracelets. So it's a double decker of turquoise and some Tibetan um, uh, column beads. And it's going to look really cool. I'm going to be doing uh, the, what else am I doing? Amethyst, um beaded, strong. So anyway, we got stuff coming in there right now. We just got our t-shirts, sweatshirts, tank tops, tumblers. You know, there's like four pages in my store, right? You do get that. It's not just that one front page. It's There's actually even, I've put things in categories to make your life easier, like clothing, right? Stuff like that. Decor. Hello, Just Shannon. I'm trying to hide from my neighbor's kids. That's good. Do that always. They want to play and ride bikes. Okay. It's not going to work. Okay, go. Yeah. We'll see you later. 
Her eating literally makes me ill. Yeah, we can't do two Chantel mukbangs in a row, right? We can't. Is your tiny fridge behind you? Yeah, that's for, you know, serums, right? My face cream, stuff like that. Mm-hmm. You make application of makeup look so easy. <laughs> you look like a Jackson Pollock mask. <laughs> My Etsy store is getting bigger, more amazing things every day. I care. All right, so you want me to get into it? Thumbs up. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go again. Look it. It's almost gone. It's just a little scab now. I don't know what that means. Coke serums are amazing. I don't know what that means. I wear my yellow bracelet with my black summer dress. I get compliments on it. Yellow jade is beautiful. <gasps> and I have that cute little yellow shirt for summer, right? Right, that we wear with capris, right? It's so pretty with a tan. And the, can you imagine the jade, the yellow jade? Stop it. Anyway, that's going back in the store. I got, I got more beads coming in. I've got turquoise coming in. I got more yellow jade. Um, I've got more uh, pink tiger's eye coming in. Um, I can't remember. Amethyst, finally gonna be back in the store. I don't ship to Canada. I could make an exception though, if you wanna just like hit me up in private. I don't wanna go through Etsy for that because they're ridiculous. So hit me up in private, right? It's a whole thing. I don't know. It depends on what you want because I can open it up for Canada. Yellow jade is gorgeous in the summer with a tan. I'd love to order. But all my t-shirts, tank tops, all that stuff, yes, it ships international. Uh, so the only things that I have to open up are my bracelets and my face cream and my rose clay face bar. But those aren't in my store right now. So the bracelets aren't even in my store right now because I got to do new pictures. Um, I'm going to bead my uh, hematite different. Um, I'm going to do a different. I have some really cool shit for my hematite. So I'm going to make a new hematite bracelet, put it in there. So even if you bought the old style, uh, it will go good next to it. I like to do that because once you've bought a bracelet. I can make a different style. I put it in there. We're going to have a good time this summer. Just give me a few minutes, you know, to do it. Probably like, um, next week is tough because, you know, we're going to be leaving on Thursday. Just give me a hot minute and I'll get these new bracelets in the store because it's going to be hard for me to ship like when I'm not home. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, we'll work it out just, Shannon. So anyway, let me tell you what happened. Okay, so I was tootling around uh, the YouTube, right? And this channel came up, which I'm guessing is kind of a reaction channel. Um, anyway, so what they did was, and I think only two or three people did this, and, I, and I, in my opinion, there's a reason. So what they did was, if you didn't know, because we don't cover it for a reason, um, and maybe it's even to be like Team Gary, Team, you know, women, <laughs> Team women. Look at still working out. You liking it? We're getting a cap here. We're getting a cap finally. I'm working out every day with these arms because I got to put them in a dress, right? Anyway, you know I'm just hyper for fun, right? I'm not like this in real life. I'm actually pretty fucking quiet and chill. Patty, thank you $2 for the super chat. I hope you have a nice week too. You love the jade? That yellow jade. I can get one and show y'all. Oh! Let me get it. Let me get it. Let me get it. And, I, and there's there's something I want to change about the yellow jade, too. And it's the spacer bead for me. I want to do something different. But anyway, the stone. Can you even? Look at that. This is the pink's tiger eye. I will not change the style of this because I love it. 
because it's pink. <laughs> Got to have a little bling. But I want to change the spacer bead. I'm not happy with that spacer bead. So I'm going to revamp some bracelets, and then I'm going to put them on. But this is the pink tiger's eye. You can look at all the benefits and all the, the values of the stone um, in the store. That's the yellow jade. Stop it. So pretty. Anyway. Um, so. I. I don't showcase Natter. And I need your opinion. Okay, I'm not out trying to be the YouTube police, okay? I'm really not. Um, sometimes I'm like, I ask questions sometimes when I see something. Do you ever do gold instead of silver? No, I haven't. But I can. I would. I just don't have any gold. Um, I'm kind of like either the little blings or I'm kind of like... I don't know. I guess I'm so used to silver and gold feels so 80s and 90s to me. I don't know. But I guess rose gold I'm in love with. You know what I'm saying? I've considered doing stuff with rose gold, but I just don't know if I like gold gold. Can someone tell me where the members only videos are at? Hey, you members, when you go into, is there a way to go into your members only? See, when you go into my channel and you hit live or you hit videos, aren't there some that come up that say green or they say members only? Or do you guys have a special place you can go where you can watch the, all the members only videos? There's, there's so many. So Nader did deactivate it. Okay, then we're going to talk about it. It's on your main page. My main page? There must be a members only link. <gasps> is that what it is? There's a category. Oh, thank you, God is a woman. She said, you remind me of my bestie in Michigan. I had to move away and now she's a sub of yours because she loves you too. Well, bestie, hi. Thank you. Members only is the C perks button. And on your own on your own account, you have a membership tab, right? You got to be a member to see it. She is a member, I think. It's easy to find, Sherry said. Yes, rose gold is stunning. It's a muted gold, which I like. Gold gold is too, like, pimp for me. I don't know. It's weird. I've never liked real gold. I never liked it. I don't know. It, maybe it just doesn't go with my aura. I don't know. All right, so back to the subject. We back to the subject. City Girl Swag, you are a mem member? Okay, because you're not showing up in green, but that could be because you signed up under a different name, which is fine. You have to go log into the name that is signed up, and that's where you'll see your members only. But generally, your name will show up in green. So you just might have to switch accounts because people have done that. They're like, oh, I'm under my other account. Right? You chat under that account. You might be under members only under a different name. That's the name you can, you have to go to to see it, in my opinion. Right? Because I have my No Madness Reaction channel too, but I can't access my memberships under my other channel name. You know what I'm saying? So you have to go under the account you signed up. We're just going to put on a little something, right? We're not looking to. You know, hit the runway or anything. Now we get all that figured out. Hi, Shelly Ray. You found it? Oh, good. Welcome. Welcome to the Seeker family. You'll be busy. There's a lot of videos. You have your own channel over there. <laughs> I'm going to keep adding more. Because Thursday, we're going, on a, we're going on a field trip. Members only, we're going on a field trip. Not this Thursday, not tomorrow, but next Thursday. We're going on a field trip. Fingers crossed. Amen. Seriously. We're going on a field trip. <laughs> yes, we are. So, okay. So how did all this occur? And how did it go to where my last comment was, listen, I'm not here to fight with you. 
Do you know what I'm saying? I mean, how did it start out with, because see, it all started out with this channel that <clears throat> showcased Natter's um, Natty Daddy channel, which we stay away from because that's where he does all his nefarious shit, right? And that's where he goes to uh, be vile. Let's just say vile, okay? And he put up, thank God he closed it, but he put up that he, his OF link and the things as a dom, we already know what that means, people. We've been here a long time. So if the other channel's watching, this is my point. And I'm not around, I'm not here to go school you about someone's past and the, the way they've treated people on this platform. That ain't my job. Somebody tried to do the, that to me once. It's like, listen, I'll find out for myself. Thank you. But I didn't go in there and go, how could you do this? No, here's what I said. Here's what I said. So anyway, she put up, she wasn't reacting really to it. If you ask me, it was more like, you know, text. I mean, kind of was reacting to it. I don't know. It's not that she was in favor of it by any means. She was just putting it out there. What he put on the Natty Daddy channel, which was, you know, there, there, am I wrong? God as a woman goes, why? That was my point. And here's what I said. I can even show you proof what I said. I said, um, him, him posting that link to OF, especially with the description he put in, like, you can private message me. That'll be my favorite part. All this weird shit, right? And the, you get a discount right now, $39.99 for the first 30 days after that. You know, or you could buy six months worth, $202, right? First of all, you couldn't pay me $202 to see you with your shirt off, Nader. Stop it. So anyway, he got one <laughs> subscriber. Okay, now there is a reason. So anyway, I said, I hope he, let, or what did I say? Something about... Um, it, it's against terms of service for him to be sharing that link on his channel. Hopefully, this will take him down for good. Right? So then the person comments underneath. That's what I said. Like, I'm in agreement. Let's get this, you know, out of here. You're out of here. Okay, so. You go, I wouldn't pay 202 pennies. Right. So then the person says, the, the channel says, um, uh, how do you know that it's against terms of service? Um, something like that. So I went over to Google, right? And it says that you cannot post links to things that are against you to, or you're against terms of service. Against, listen, if you don't know yet, because I see your fairly new channel, if you don't know yet, you can't even talk about certain things. And y there's no definition, right? So you have to go to Google and find out. So I found out you can't post links to things that are against community guidelines. What the hell is she sending me? I don't even know what that is. Um, I got a message. So anyway, she, she was questioning, you know, and so I sent that from Google and I said it straight from Google. So then she comes back with, uh, well, straight from Google doesn't mean facts. I'm like, Google owns YouTube. So I'm going to assume Google would be a fact. Google AdSense pays you if you're in the program. So I would believe that Google would be the correct place to find that out since they own YouTube. But I didn't put that in there because this is starting an argument now. My channel is only based on facts, she said. I said, well, fact. Natter has been to, I want bread and water. Let me out, let me out. For DV. He has he is facing trial for D DV and SA. Fact. 
There's a reason we don't showcase him. And what is that reason, people? I'm like fighting my case with you guys, but what is, what, what is that reason? Because he recruits women. Why do you think, I think the only two people that ever grab that and put it on their channel for views is Breezen and Gorlick Bread. But nobody else, no, even if it's just for Gary's sake, are we going to showcase him, platform him, or even direct, send anyone to check it out? Nobody. There's a reason. And I said, listen, I'm not here to fight with you. At first, I was agreeing with you. Yay. He posted a link to something he shouldn't. Hopefully, it takes his channel down. Yay. Oh, and she goes, are you going to report his video? I don't, first of all, I don't cow tip. Second of all, why? It's a dying channel. Why would I even go over there and touch it? Let it disintegrate on its own. And he's evil and he's dangerous. I guess you're going to fuck around and find out. Keep playing with him. You'll find out. So it wasn't even supposed to be any of this. I was like, yes, he did something stupid. Let YouTube see this. And then I'm like, you're going to take his channel down? Are you going to strike his videos? Why? Why would I strike the videos of a dying channel? Why are you showcasing a dying channel with disgusting link? She goes, it's not like the, the link shows any nudity. It got lost in translation, I'm sure. I don't care if it shows nudity. You're showcasing it. You are literally replatforming him. Nobody's talking about him but Breezen and Gorlick Bread. Nobody. Nobody. And why, people? Am I wrong? Am I wrong? And then I get into this whole, I got to prove myself shit. I go, done. I'm done. Good luck to you. Fuck around and find out. You'll see what Natter's made of. Keep messing with him. Poke him. Go find out. Go find out. He strikes every single channel. He thinks he's a dom. And now he's going to go and recruit more women because Didi ain't cutting it. Pay attention. We don't showcase anything he does. I don't care if it's newsworthy, except for the trial. I'm here for it. Thank you. We do not showcase evil. He does everything to get you to showcase him, and then he will strike you. If you don't agree with him, he's going to strike your channel. That's what I'm saying. And if he don't, you just showcased evil. That's just what I'm trying to get across here. We have all, he struck how many of us? A hundred? A hundred of us? It was like 200 videos and he had no plans to ever take us to court. Yet, here he still is. But everybody made an um, unspoken pact. Let his channel disintegrate, he doesn't exist. That's where we've been. And then the worst thing he could do is start an OF and trying to get women. That's the last thing I would showcase. It was over 100 channels, yeah. So fuck around and find out. Damn, I wasn't even looking for a fight. I'm like, yes. Prove that that's against terms of service. No, the YouTube will prove it. I talked about a certain style of beliefs, just beliefs. I mean, last time I checked, we lived in a free society, right? I just checked, I just talked about a certain belief that may or may not be cultish. It was up for you to decide. I did it in a very un- like, I just did it in a biased way because it was just like, what? And boom. So you never know what they like or don't like about you, what you're posting. There is no clear definition of YouTube's terms of service. So the best thing you can do 
is just not showcase. Do you know how many people on here actually just say the, they don't even say the word, they just say OF. Right? Don't, have you seen that on YouTube? Oh, absolutely, Tally, you, because I even said in the comments, I said, um, funny how he calls himself a dom, but if he gets his feeling hurt, if he gets his feelings hurt, then, you know, he, he'll attack your channel. He doesn't like criticism. I don't know how they get away with everything they're doing. Yeah, you get to a point where you know what they like and they don't like, but you hear so many people saying OF because they don't even want to say the word. Right? The only ceiling fans, right? Because it's a key word in the bot system. So go ahead, learn your way. I wasn't even trying to teach you. I was in agreement with you. Then all of a sudden you turn into this whole fact check. What are you? What, what fact check? And then when I fact check with Google, who owns YouTube, that wasn't a reliable source. No, sweetheart. <laughs> Wikipedia is not a reliable source. I mean, I, I couldn't even believe it. I'm getting into an argument. I'm going, what, what's happening here? I'm tapping out. Tapping out. And then I'm like, what was I taken wrong? Uh, I'm not even being defensive. I'm like, seriously, I knew I was staying neutral. I want Nader to just poof before another woman gets involved in this disgusting little triangle. Right? Because there's more. I'm hearing there's more than just one. I'm just saying. Dang. Are you on his side? What's going on? Yeah, if we don't speak of him, he go, everything goes bye-bye. That's what we've been trying to do here. And just because just Breezen loves to grab a hold of his shit, I don't know why. And of course, Gorlick Brad. But they're the only two. And you know what? I have learned this on this platform. I'm not even going to agree with people. I'm just staying away. It, it, you know what? You're damned if you do. You're damned if you don't on this platform. It probably depends on what age you're dealing with. What, what, um, what they're really trying to accomplish. What they take as criticism or just, yay. I hope Google, you know, it, I hope it terms of service. I hope it takes this channel down for good. That was my comment. And it went all the way to this. Why? It doesn't make sense. Oh my God, I can't even imagine, you know? I don't even mess around with garlic bread or breezy. I really don't. I mean, the, to me, they're two and the same. Uh, they'll, they'll showcase anything. They, they have no, I mean, really, that's in my opinion. Anything they think is newsworthy. Where I'm more like, shh. At least for Gary's sake, everybody, shh. Oh, God. I, the, the, he even got Didi from YouTube. And Didi's looking a whole lot of rough. And he literally just moved into her condo and took over. He's going to trial for criminal. Like, I, DV and SA, like, who would showcase anything that has to do with him providing some, some naughty site you got to pay for and recruiting women? Like, who would showcase that? Didi does look rough, yeah. Now that new, the friend, Angelica? Mm-mm. I won't put any of that shit in my algorithm. And what I mean by that is not just talking about it, but you went and reacted to his Natty Daddy video. Never in a million years. Ever in a million years. Mm -mm. It's not entertainment. It is not even, I don't even care if it was newsworthy. I'd be like, mm-mm. Mm-mm. I'm not replatforming him. Mm-mm. I ain't sending anyone over there. He does everything he does to draw a crowd. And then if you don't like what you have to say on your channel, he strikes you. The whole thing's bad. It's evil. And Onision went down because of the shit he was doing on YouTube. When Chris Hansen got involved. Do we need to call Chris Hansen? Do we? 
to catch a predator? Do we need to? He's on YouTube. Nothing but a tag. We'll st we can handle this, but um, we're going to wait till after the trial. Because sometimes the trash takes itself out. <laughs> I'm pretty sure once it, if he was charged and found guilty, I'm pretty sure YouTube will take care of that channel on its own. I heard you say about YouTube and members only streams. Is that why nothing happens to Foodie Beauty's channel? Because she always does members only. She doesn't do members only streams. She does members only chat. Her streams are public. Her chat is private. So everybody gets to watch it, but nobody can talk. <laughs> Lovely. She did that so she would get super chats. It's not working. So, no. It's different. Only my members can watch my members only streams. Because it's just meant... It's called a perk. Where my private life is on members only. Like it used to be on Patreon. That's the difference. But no, she does public. Um, we don't know what happened to Gary. He says he'll be back soon. That was like two weeks ago. Um, I, I feel like something legal's going on. No, seriously. I feel it. I feel that Gary is going to take care of a problem. I really do. I really, really do. I just feel it in my gut. I know nothing. I just feel it. I have absolutely no inside information. But man, yeah, Joe Shannon, it, we miss Gary. You know, he's fun. And uh, he wasn't backing down from the nods, right? He wasn't backing down. And then nods got more evil and more evil. So we don't showcase evil. Sorry. You go right ahead, though. F around and find out. I was just trying to be on your side, but you do you, boo. <laughs> go be right. <laughs> I love it. So that's why I'm not even telling you the channel name. Why should I showcase that person? Right? I was just trying to, whatever, agree. But, you know, it happens. Nobody showcases that guy anymore. And shame on Foodie Beauty for bringing him to our platform. It's been hell trying to get him off of here. Because he's... the th Ugh. God. We have... Glass pipe. They... You know what? You know what? You, you remember when... Uh, <laughs> you know what their uh, code word is for that now? Are you making tea? <laughs> Are you making tea? Okay, I'll come help you. Mm-hmm. That's what happened, remember? Now, every time I, th I hear him say that or her, right, while the person's in the kitchen, that's all I think of. Are you making tea? And we know exactly what I'm talking about. And that got shown on his live stream. So is that what we showcase now? We don't bring any attention, good or bad, to that person, period. Right? We're going to just let things play out the way they should. Mm-hmm. Had to give myself some eyebrows. Oh, it's crazy. Yeah, that's a special kind of tea they're drinking, smoking, whatever you want to call it. You said nothing wrong. It took, I took it that you were trying to help them. I really was. And you know what? Sometimes you can't. And I laughed when I'm like, my channel is only full of facts. Really? Let's see how that progresses for you. <laughs> That's what my channel is. I've built my channel on that shit. And if I get something wrong, I apologize. But yes. So when you said, 
I didn't see anywhere that that's against terms of service for him to share a link to an OF account. And I went in, I researched, I'm like, be right back. You know, I'm looking. And I found it in Google where it says it is against terms of service to link any, to put in any link. It didn't say with nudity, any link that is against community guidelines which I'm thinking that's why everybody says OF instead of, you know, only ceiling fans, right? And so I, I'll, it was copy and paste that and send it and said, well, here's what I found on Google, straight from Google. Well, Google's not a reliable source. They own YouTube. <laughs> I can't. I'm done. Have fun. Don't care anymore. You told me to prove it. I proved it. And now I didn't prove it enough. I don't care. Find out. I don't care. I hope Nader finds out was my whole comment. I hope him posting that link takes him down for good is what I said. Now, you either like, yeah, me too. I'm in here now trying to prove. <laughs> I can't. See, I can't. That, that I can't deal with. So I just felt like I was. I went from helping to defending myself. I don't care anymore. Showcase them all you want. Thank God you're not a big channel. So that he stays down there in the basement where he belongs. Before another woman gets targeted. God. Before another woman gets targeted. Look at Angelica. I don't even know. This is wrong. I mean, yeah, that stuff exists. But why do you get to use here? Why does he get to use his YouTube channel, right? That's supposed to be broadcast yourself to literally recruit women. Why? How is that not against community guidelines? How? And why would we showcase it? Why would we give him an ounce of energy? He is down to, he was down to three or 400 views a video. Now he's back up to a thousand because you guys put that shit out there. I can't. Oh, this will get me clicks and views. Yeah, but it will get him clicks and views. <laughs> so frustrated. There you go. Hey, hi. Thank you for putting the channel out. Thank you. I'm glad it's your first time in here. Are you are you the channel? You want to put your channel out? Go ahead. See if people agree with what you did. I said I wasn't mentioning the channel. You come out of the nowhere, right out of the cracks of the floor to promote the channel. <laughs> like I didn't see that coming, by the way. Mm-hmm. So why don't you come in here under your channel name and let's have the conversation. Like for real. Because I was going to, I would have promoted your channel. But I can't promote him. I, I just can't. I just can't. Not after I seen what's happening to Didi. What this Angelica now is part of this weird thing. And now he is saying, I'm a dom, come watch me. We can talk in private. That's my favorite part. That right there made me sick. So come in under your name. Let's have a conversation. Let's do it. I want you to understand. It is scary. We don't promote that. And I'm not saying you're promoting it in a good way, but even if you just show it, there is 2,000 more people that now know. Nobody ever knows what's going on with him because we make a watch and talk about it, but we don't, mm-mm, uh-uh. -mm, we do not put him in the algorithm. We, no. No. <laughs> we just don't. Because what if somebody new that doesn't know anything that's happened goes over there and he starts talking to them? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and he'll use those private 
accounts for blackmail. Yes. Yeah. Yay! You get you getting Timu. All right. Yeah, I got his mom's like, nope, 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 and nope. I was just being friendly, but apparently I have to prove myself. So, ain't gonna happen. Not gonna happen. Find out for yourself. And I am done. I'll just feel like, well, that's cute. And I'm walking away from now on. From now on. I don't care. I'm not, I'm not getting involved anymore. You'll find out for yourself. Hopefully you don't. We'll pray. Because, man, that was ridiculous. I'm like, I'm not even here to fight. Like, what's happening? Then I'm like, oh, okay. I know what's up. Def the person's defensive because they thought her, you know, I don't know. Defending what they put up on their channel, which is fine. We all have to defend. But I've also deleted shit. Because people have come to me and said, hey, you know what, da-da-da-da-da. And I think about it and go, you know what, you're right, delete. I got no problem with that. I can take criticism. I can take, but I'm not going to be sitting here and every time, I, 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 I'm just not going to do it. I can't deal with people like that. There's two-sided coins. Welcome to the internet. Good luck. I will never, ever platform him again. After that OF thing, and I hope he did take it down. That right there gave me the creeps from head to toe, and I said, never again. Never again. Because as long as he's got an OF, shit can get scary. Because he wants private conversations, and you already know, they like to film stuff and have people join. And I'm not, I don't want any part of that shit. She said someone. She was talking about me then. And I didn't say she was locked in like Anne Frank. See, that's where people twist shit to their own narrative. I said those doors are security doors inside of a dwelling. Like kind of like bunker rooms. Like places you could hide like Anne Frank. So get it right. I thought you only believed in facts, lady. Or are you making up shit, Lizbeth? Are you in here to pick an argument with me? And who cares? Uh, I, I'm dealing with someone that is just looking for a fight. I have no use for you. In fact, I'm going to go and just delete all my comments there. I'm just, I don't want any part of you. If you're gonna, if this is how you want to play to become significant, um, you're doing it wrong. She typed that under one of my comments that I posted. She did. Kimmy says, I do watch that channel. I never heard her say it. She said she posted it under a comment. See how we're starting to fight with creators? Is everybody bored? I'm too old. She's too young. We are gonna have differing ideas of what uh, debate, what's uh, critical, what's not critical. Well, I mean, you understand the generation gap is going to be too big. It is not going to be worth it. It's really not. It's just not going to be worth it. We will never see eye to eye. We just never will. But just know that there won't, there's nothing I will do from this day forward until that trial's over to ever showcase him, period. And now that he has an OF, mm -mm, I'm done. I don't, even, I don't I didn't even want to say his word. Right? Uh, yeah, so we, we will never agree because some people, you know, we, our, our generations just won't allow it. I have no idea. I'm learning that if you're going to visit those sites, don't comment. And if you feel uncomfortable, get out. Yeah. The younger generation doesn't want advice. And I wasn't even giving advice. I was agreeing with her. Well, thank God. 
I, you know, the links, that link is against terms of service, uh, and hopefully it takes his channel down for good. That's what I said. And I literally spent four comments, three paragraphs later, trying to prove myself. What? Are you with him or against him? I don't understand. And I use the words, I hope, which is not, we're going to need some fact-based here. My channel's fact-based. Well, here's something you can learn. Terms of service, community guidelines, YouTube. There is no definition of what they agree with and don't. It's called fuck around and find out. That's the way it works here on YouTube. You have no idea of what you're talking about is allowed. That's why I said, I hope it takes his channel down for good. So apparently some people can sing pumped up kicks with air weapons fresh after a shooting in an elementary school. And Google turns a blind eye. But if you want to come on here and talk about real numbers of real anything, infections, diseases, or viruses, and post facts from an actual government site, You'll see. That's why I said, I hope him posting that will take his channels down for good. That was it. And I meant it. I hope. Why do you think you put it on Natty Daddy? Because he didn't want it on his main channel. Why? Why wouldn't he want it on his main channel? think because he didn't know for sure if he could post it or not right mm -hmm. so he put it over there just in case google goes blip he thinks he gets to keep his main channel <laughs> but natty daddy might be under dd Dee Dee lulu's name so they won't be connected which is why i'm thinking he put it on natty daddy because that channel's not in his name so he can go do nefarious shit over there. And he won't lose his main channel. Yes, he tries to snag women on the down low. He, uh, lonely, desperate women. Not, I'm not going to really say desperate in the way of like, but they just want attention. They want to be a part of something. And then it gets scary with him. It gets scary with him. He will put all your information out. It's scary. Yeah, don't let evil flourish. Yeah, he's got a second channel and nobody knew about it. See, there you go. People are like, he has a second channel. That's what I'm talking about when you platform somebody that is possibly evil. We'll find out after the trial. We'll find out after the trial. Mm-hmm. Um, that's my point. So, yes, I did care. You wanted to turn it into something else? You want to twist my words? You want to make it something else? Go for it. Everybody over here knows I won't give you an ounce of energy. You're a stranger. I only value the opinions of people that matter to me. And I ain't talking about the internet. I'm talking real life. Oh my God, I got, I had the biggest cringe factor because I didn't even know about this. I did not even know about this at all. It never even hit the algorithm until I seen it on this channel. And I'm like, why would anyone put this out there? Do you understand what you're dealing with? Like, do you understand the potential problems it's gonna cause? And I didn't even say that. 
in the comments section. Ah. Uh, yeah. No reason to see what is going on with him. Exactly. I know Canada's soft on that. I was reading about it. Mmm, very scary. There are reasons. And and you know what? And then I seen where this was going. Um and where my message was not find out. You know, it's, people just got to find out for themselves, right? That's what the world's about. You try to be kind. You try to say, you know what? Now I'm over here proving facts. <laughs> oh, my God. I still can't prove why I couldn't talk about something that was factual. Literally putting the facts up on my channel and it got scrubbed so fast. So, no, it isn't about facts on YouTube. It's about what they decide in the moment is allowed. That's it. And there is no definition. Sensitive subjects. And what does that cover? And how do we get to decide if what we're talking about... Listen, I could be talking about a scab on my foot or a wart, right? You could be popping a pimple. That could be a sensitive subject, right? Right? We'll never know until we know. So there is no way to prove that a link to OF is against community guidelines. But according to Google, if you share a link, they didn't say anything about pictures and videos. If you share a link to somewhere that is against community guidelines, they weren't specific. They never are. T-Girls had it with me. Okay, okay, we get it. Stop talking about it. What do you want me to talk about, T-Girl? What would you like me to talk about? Thank you, Capone Boxer. Thank you, Patty. I wound up with grunt. What? Capone? He's trying to groom more women. Exactly. We can read between the lines. Even though it was pretty, um, it was pretty clear. You get to pay extra. Anything else? Can we talk about you? What's going on with you? Are you having a good day? Sometimes you have to address stuff on here. Um, what do you want? Is there anything out there you want me to address that doesn't have anything to do with me on my channel? I mean, I'm just asking because this is why I titled it, Am I Wrong? You want to talk about chickens? I just can't. I'm a new sub. Love your commentary. You make me laugh. Thank you. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, you want me to go react to something? You want me to go downstairs and set up? I'll have to change the title, the thumbnail, or I'll have to restart. What do you want me to do? So it, look, it's all up to you today, T-Girl, because I don't know. That was pretty important to me. Talk about the weather. It's beautiful out. End of. It is a hot topic, right? That's a very hot topic. It really is. Because here we go again. That's what I feel like. Not with that channel, with Nader. That's what this is all about. Nobody knew about it. It makes you nauseous. All right. I will then, T-Girl. I'm sorry. Okay, so let's, uh, um, right, okay, we, we won't. It's making you nauseous, I understand, because it made me nauseous, which is why I covered this, which is why that was the, the place I went to say, oh, right, but I didn't get that. I didn't get the, uh, you know, what can we all do? <laughs> you know what I mean? It was just, you're going to have to prove yourself. Sorry. I <laughs> No! <laughs> anyway, yes, it bothered me. Uh, it really bothered me this morning because I'm really thinking about the trial coming up. I keep thinking about all the things that he's done on here. And nothing has happened except for the silence. The silence has been so effective. Until now. So he did take down the OF. Then I'm fine with it all. As long as he took it down.
Can you even imagine? Of course, the farms would, one person on the farms would join. And guess what? That whole OF would have one subscriber, right? People would pool their money together, right? I'll give you a quarter. I'll give you a quarter. Go out there. So he only gets one person and then just splatter that shit all over the internet. And trust me, he'll take it down. Because even the Kiwi Farms ain't having it. Have you heard anything about Katie? Nope. Nope. I mean, there's people out there making um, their own assumptions, you know. She didn't have emergency surgery. She was lying. She was just grifting for money. She made up the story. You know, you got all that out there, but we expect that. I mean, we expect it because, you know, that's, that's the YouTubes for you. It makes it exciting. You're like, did she? Right? Did she already know she had to have surgery on those? Right? But why would she have kept drinking? Right? Because that would make it. Like if you knew you were going to have surgery, why would you keep drinking? Knowing you had to fix your ulcers. Right? Because the drain tubes alone tell us she's had surgery. Right? And her skin's still there. So we know it's not skin removal. She still had on her bracelet. Well, let's not even say the bracelets because she could have put the bracelets back on, right? And the sunglasses on her head. She still had her eyelashes on. I'm thinking that's emergency surgery because generally you wash your face, take your you know eyelashes off before surgery and, and the polish off your acrylic nails or something. I don't know. Like I'm looking for all the facts now because I don't go by that shit. That's hate. Or trying to get everybody rolling, right? Because that's YouTube. So I don't know. Oh, I'm just playing with you, T-girl. You know I'm sass crass and a bit of an ass. People tried to say she already had her skin removed. No, she showed it. No. If, if, they, if she did, they did a bad job. That's a fact. <laughs> and can you imagine? You have absolutely no... You have absolutely no stitches. That's a miracle. I'm going to want my skin removed. If it's stitch free or invisible stitches. Oh, yeah. Sign me up with absolutely no lines of where that skin was cut. And they did a bad job because the skin's still hanging. So, you know what? I, well, what are we dealing with here? <laughs> no, I, she definitely didn't have skin removal. Too bad they couldn't have just done it all at once, right? She'd have been done. Yeah, she'd have been in way more pain, right, than a healing ulcer. You know, just because they pat your stomach doesn't mean you're going to be pain-free. Because all of those nerve endings are going pew, 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 right? And that tells your body, like pain is, is the healing process. Because it tells your body to come and heal it. That's why all the nerve endings are going off. Injury, injury. I mean, they could make a cartoon about it. And then they, all the red blood cells come running in, right? And of course, you're going, you know, you're withdrawing from alcohol. Your blood pressure is going to be up. Uh, you're healing from pain and you're anxious. Your blood pressure is going to be up. And even in a car accident, your blood pressure is going to be up for days because it's a kind of a trauma to the body. Does anybody like research anything or they just like, do we just go on the Internet and just. Right. You, you could probably just Google these questions and look for a proper di answer or at least a majority answer. <sighs> yeah, anything. Listen, you even got gas built up in your intestines. And we're talking like, you know, a good fart that just don't want to move. How much pain are you in with just gas? And you went in and had some stuff done where they actually blow your stomach up with gas so they can put in the cameras and the equipment and the little holes for laparoscopic. They fill your abdomen with gas. That's a good time. When that gas is trying to be absorbed by your body, it settles in your shoulders, your back, everywhere. It's painful. You'd think people would be more remorseful or resourceful. 
or remorseful, but no. Yeah, that 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 gas they blow your stomach up with is not even a joke. It's like an air, but it's like, I don't even know. It's a kind of air that stays expanded. And it's painful. Mine hit my shoulders. They just burned, right? When it finally traveled to my shoulders. And it took days. I couldn't even imagine being like, okay, well, I, I want out of here. I need to eat. After having my stomach patched for a hole, I would stay on liquid diets as long as I could until I knew that bitch was healed. I would be so afraid to go through that again. And it just takes one thing to blow that patch, right? <sighs> I'm not even playing. I'd be eating cream of wheat for life <laughs> until I knew it was completely healed. And I never had to worry about that again. And then I would spend the rest of my life making sure I never ate anything that would cause an ulcer or drank anything that would cause an ulcer. Ever, ever, would I ever, never again. Oh my God, Sunshine Country Chickens. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Are you serious? That's frightening. Yeah, gallstones, yeah. That's, yeah, scary. Okay, y'all coming in with some stories. Oh, she, yeah, she better never drink again. She's only killing herself, I, you know. She's already been warned and told, so I ain't worried about it. It's her walk. It's her walk with addiction, it's her walk. And how she chooses to take that walk, I am not getting emotionally or uh, personally involved. I know a lot of people want to, but I'm not. Uh-uh. Yeah, she, they won't release her from the hospital. Let me tell you why. I don't care what they say, who comes in and says this, that. They always want to build your hopes up, right? They always do that. Um, they're going to get her on a soft food diet, right? Uh, mashed potatoes, stuff like that. Maybe some scrambled eggs. No bacon, no toast, no grease, right? So anyway, and they're going to make sure everything's okay. She can digest it healthy, poop healthy. Uh, because if she vomits and she's at home and blows open that patch, it could be a matter of minutes. Right? So they're not going to take that chance of a giant lawsuit because she's upset. <laughs> they don't even work that way. Do you know how many upset people you deal with every day in a hospital? Stomping the feet, wanting to go home. Yeah, they have to see the poop. Right? Right. They got to make sure there's no blood. They got to make sure so many things. When the whole digestive process, do you think they're just going to be like, well, you're on Jell-O now. You get to go. They got to pull those drain plugs, those drain tubes too. You know how fun that is? We'll hear about that for a week. That was more painful than my surgery. <laughs> you think it's right there at the edge with the stitches? No, it's about this long. <laughs> and they pull. <laughs> it's a good time. Hold your breath. <laughs> and you're like. <laughs> How many she have? Three? I had two. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we've all, yeah, we know the drain. We know the drain, the drain, <laughs> the drain tubes. Yeah, yeah. Take a deep breath. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she didn't have a feeding tube. No, she thought it was. It was a big drain tube. Feeding tubes are white and they go through your nose. <laughs> See? So there's that. <laughs> Goes through your nose, right into your belly. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
it is weird, that feeling when they pull those out. It feels like it's snaked through your body, right? You're like, oh, when are they going to be done? Okay, so anyway, I'm just saying, she can, she's just talking. Everybody relax. She will not go home until they know everything's working properly to cover their ass. So if she goes home and screws up, they've got full reports that everything was working properly and healing. That's what they do. They don't even play like that. Yeah. Your feeding tube was in your stomach? Well, why was yours in your stomach and not down your... How was it put into your stomach? Down your nose? Did they literally put it in, made an incision, and went through your body? There's got to be a reason. Because this is a straight shot. And it's a little, just a little white. I know because I used to have to change uh, the feed bags, the, the bags that fed the patients. They were all down their nose. Because it really saves from any kind of infection. And you can change them. Yours went down your nose? Yeah. So if yours went in your belly, there was a whole different reason. But I'm going to be honest with you. 99% of the time, it goes down the nasal. I hope she's, you know, you know I, I hope she, you know, follows everything. You were in ICU with your stomach perforated 70%. Wow. So if it was perforated, you didn't have a feeding tube, right? No food in the stomach. Nasogastric tube, yes. Okay, so feeding tube is a feeding tube. So we're just talking about the tube name, but it's still to feed you. We call them feeding tubes even if they were nasogastric. But yes, there is a G tube too for different reason. In the belly for long term, elderly people. So there's that. Anyway, so that's all this was about today. I'm going to go run and do some errands. I am not interested in the... Um, I just wanted to put it out there why I said what I said, what I meant by it, because I was not going to keep commenting. There was no freaking way because it just got to the point where this person obviously heard about me and doesn't like me. So that's where this went. I figured that out after... I figured it out after, uh, and that's why I'm like, okay, well, am I wrong? Figure it out. I don't care. I don't really care. I, I tried to start it out with, you know, I hope his channel comes down for good because he makes me nervous when it comes to women on here that just need attention, right? May or may not be going through it. You know what I'm saying? We don't want to showcase evil. And another woman gets recruited or exposed, or or traumatized, and that's it. That was all it was about. But if you don't like me, that's cool. Just say it. Say, you know what? I don't really like you. And I'd be like, oh, peace. See you later. We're good. Because I don't really give a fuck. What do I use on my eyebrows? Mm. Elf. I like this thing. It's got a brush, right? You can brush the caterpillars, get them up where they belong. And then it's got the proper, I think this one is just, they never tell you the color. Oh, there they do. Yeah, they do. Oh my God, I'm supposed to, neutral brown. Neutral brown, elf. And then it's got the little thing. They don't give you much, it's elf. That ain't gonna last long. So when you put it on, it's pretty much the color of my eyebrows. See that? Neutral brown. You have this one? Yeah, I like that. I like it. I got um, I got new stuff coming. I can't wait to show y'all. And we're going to see if it works. Timu. My other, my big order should be here tomorrow. The one that I've been waiting for for two weeks. That should be here tomorrow. It's got all the other stuff in it. You know, the Wisperia for the wedding. Um, the, I believe the, the runner. 
I want to see what it all looks like. It's a cream. Yeah, I like, well, it's a cream pencil. You know what I'm saying? It's like a cream pencil. Can you see that? Yeah, it's like a cream pencil. You got eyebrow glue from, uh, is eyebrow glue? Is that where you put it on so you can put makeup over it? I don't know what eyebrow glue is. Do you glue your eyebrows? Is that a thing? Am I missing out? Anyway, I got the stencils. I'm gonna have fun with it. And then that stamp thing. Ha! <laughs> that won't be coming for a while. Nope, you don't have to pay customs and you don't have to pay shipping. Yeah, the cream pencil's the best. But I also got that, that one thing that's got the lines. So it almost looks like you did a, what do you call it? When you get them um, tattooed, what do you call that? It's creamier than a crayon. You know, a crayon takes a little work. It's kind of waxy, but this is creamier. You just do lips and eyes and blush. No face creams. What? How old are you? What do you mean you don't do face creams? I need to order again, but my wish list. <laughs> that was funny. Microblading. Thank you. Timo does have a lot of things. Brow lamination is a thing now. <gasps> I don't know what that means. I'm going to look it up. And you know I'm going to research it. Microblading. Yeah. It kind of, I'm buying that one that looks like microblading. Because, you know, I, I want to get that where it brings it up. Because the hairs, see, I'm pushing them around. They always go like that. So if I get the one with the, the lines, it, it will have an edge to it. it. Drives me crazy. You just want to put a little edge there. That looks like hair and not crayon. Yeah, yeah. Microblading. So anyway, yeah, I got errands to run. And so I just, you know, I just talk about wh whatever is a hot topic at this moment. And I don't want him to be a hot topic. I just really don't. But you do you, boo. It's all right. Whatever. You know, Foodie Beauty brought him to the platform and um, things got real ugly for a while. And we were so glad when he got shushed, right? And uh, we just don't want him to come back to life. We Listen, I'm going out there right now. I'm doing the Max video. I'm redoing it. I, listen, and then when Mr. Nomanis gets home, because I'm afraid to turn on the inverter. I don't know why I'm weird. I should just turn it on, right? Maybe I should turn it on for you guys. Just turn the inverter on. Should I do a live stream on Nomadness Reaction Channel? There's the link right there. And just turn it on and show you guys everything. You have no idea. It is so cool. It is so cool. Is it sweat proof? I don't know. I don't, I have no idea. I don't do anything to sweat. <laughs> but the one, okay. So the one eyebrow thing I got from Timu that's coming is waterproof. So does that mean sweat proof? Probably. So you can go swimming, keep your eyebrows. I'll show it when it comes. We got a few weeks for that yet. Seriously. All right, so let me go run my errands, right? I will be back on No Madness Reaction Channel. We will go live from Max. I am going to show you the most awesome shit my husband has done. I am just so impressed. God, I'm so impressed. I am just blown away. Okay, so give me give me some time. I thought about waiting till he gets home, do it together, because I'm kind of nervous about turning the inverter on. But should I just do it? You hear my tummy? I need lunch. Right? I need lunch. You want something good to work out with? Yeah, I, I'll show you when that comes. Now, I don't know. I know I have to wash this off. I know I have to wash it off. It doesn't just rub off in my hand, but I don't know about like sweat. He can fix it. There's nothing to fix. Like I shouldn't even be afraid, right? Just go turn it on. Power it up. I'm gonna do it. 
I'll text him first and I'll be like, can I just power this inverter up? You'll go, why? Because I want to do a live stream on our other channel in it. He'll be like, yeah, it's fine. I'll do that. Okay. So I will, I'll be over on No Madness Reaction channel and you're going to have to set your notifications. And when I get done running my errands, I will be back. I will be back live streaming on No Madness Reaction channel. Bye, guys.